so yeah, it's going to be a busy week. Yes. Not a lot of sleep ahead of us. Never. <laughs> and you guys, especially over at Billboard, are super excited because you are releasing the Billboard Dance 100. Absolutely. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. So, you know, we announced the Billboard Dance 100 last month. Uh, it's basically Billboard Dance's new cornerstone franchise, uh, which is going to be informed. Uh, so it's basically a, it's a it's a it's a ranking of the top 100 dance electronic artists in the world, and it's going to be now informed. sing and DJs or just uh, it's going to be we're, we're DJs live electronic groups. Okay, you know, um, yeah, I, I, it's gonna we wanted to make it as inclusive as possible. Okay, cool. But uh, it's going to basically be informed by chart statistics. You know, okay. everything that goes into our charts. Uh, you know, stream sales, radio airplay, uh, touring data. Uh, you know, looking at capacities of shows see, successfully that filled. Is, that I think is great. The way I see it is, uh, you know, we're all like, in terms of touring data. We're also looking at residencies. We're right. looking at uh, you know, festival billings and bookings. But you know, there are so many different artist models in mm -hmm. dance and electronic music. Uh, it's going to be a bit of like comparing apples to oranges to pears even, right. you know, uh, which is never an easy thing to do. But we wanted it to be representative of all these different artist models, you mm -hmm. know. Some guys can stream but can't move tickets. Some yeah, guys, true. you know, move tons of tickets but you'd never see them on the Billboard charts. And you have like the house and techno guys, like you mentioned, yeah. who are doing all the soft ticket, you know, clubs. And, and mm -hmm. we, we wanted to make sure that uh, this ranking was for everyone. Yeah. And then how much... Uh poll or you know percentage into the how much weight does the the vote like the popularity vote fan vote yeah the fan vote thank you i couldn't think of it yeah yeah so we we wanted to we definitely wanted to make sure that uh you know fans had a voice in the matter yeah. as well um so there is a fan voted poll uh and you know what it's it's interesting it's for us it's like we we didn't want this to be a, like a straight up algorithmic number crunch yeah. because in that case it wouldn't really account for artists that that do have different sorts of models right so we see it as more of like a holistic discussion process rank you know we have all of these data points so we'll have the charts in front of us we'll have the touring in front of us we'll have the fan voted poll results in front of us and we'll kind of you know triangulate them all together right. and figure out like and kind of you know we and we're going to be doing it with you know our charts uh staff with you know our, our our uh you know the editors over there um we're going to have our our touring correspondent at the table uh everyone who you know who you know is sort of has background in the industry right and it, kind of a diversity of viewpoints and these this has already started happening and we're sure. we're basically weighing each of the factors and as as how as to how much they make sense for each artist Got it. So unlike some other top 100. Yeah, we won't mention any names. This is going to be a real one, is what you're saying. Uh, yeah, this sounds a lot more official. Well, this is a data-driven ranking, yeah. and, and no one's done that yet before. You know, they've there have been p fan polls, but but nobody's made a real credible data-driven ranking. True. So these results are going to be revealed Thursday of this week. Yeah, that's the that's the current plan. Um, so so fan voting is open uh, through uh, tonight, and then uh, revealing the results at Miami Music Week on Thursday is the current plan. Yeah. Awesome, very very cool. I'm excited. Flips is dying to know. Who I just want to know who number one is. <laughs> <laughs> we don't I have know.